Hey everyone, welcome to a different type of video today. This is going to be an unboxing of my halfway to Black Friday vinegar syndrome order. Now I ordered this bad boy on um, like May 21st, whatever day it was that shit opened up. And I've been waiting patiently for a month now for this to come. And I got home today and I decided, you know, I should make a video about this. So I've been looking at this box for a couple hours now and I'm barely able to contain myself. Also, you'll notice I'm sitting in a beanbag chair on my floor because I wanted to do a different type of setup for a different type of video for no good reason. So just, just roll with it. Let's open this fucker up with this really shitty knife. Now, my plan here is to do videos for each one of these releases. So I'm not going to open up every one of them and show you everything that's in all of these right now because I'm going to do that later. Um... As you can see here, we have everything's like in these cardboard wraps or paper wraps. Ooh, I think I know what that one is. I'm pretty excited. Um, full disclosure, too, I haven't seen most of these movies. Maybe none of the ones I ordered. So this is all like blind buys and just based on covers. Just like in the video store days. That's how I kind of live my life now. If I haven't seen the movie and it has a cool case, fuck it, we're in. So Vinegar Syndrome, obviously, they got a ton of cool shit on their site with like really cool art. So you could pretty much pick anything and fucking take a stab at it. At least that's how I look at it. So we're going to unwrap the first one here. And this, uh, ooh, what we have here is the Amityville Horror Collection, Cursed Collection. That is, um, let me get through there. The, some of the sequels, the lesser known sequels to the Amityville Horror uh, from, I believe these are from late 80s and early to mid 90s. And uh, as you can see, there's four movies in there. This is gonna be really cool to go through. I can't wait to do the video on this one. Um, Andrew of the Freaks on this channel got this way before me, but I waited for the sale to finally pick this one up. So that's going to be really badass. Ooh, what else? There's something else in here. Oh, this is their store, the Archive. I wish I lived near there. I'd be fucking at that place every day. Okay, next up, we have... Flesh Eating Mothers. Uh, my boss at work recommended this to me. He said it's a really fucking good one, so I made sure to pick this one up. I don't know too much about it other than there are mothers who eat flesh, but it comes with the slip, so that's fucking cool too. I know people love these slips. Um, some people sell these fucking things separately. If you're watching this, you probably already know that, but still, it's like, it's cool to get them. Um, ooh, ooh, okay. Our next up here, Unmasked Part 25. This is a movie that I used to see on the video store shelves all the time. I would see this case, but I never rented it for some reason as a kid. So this is sort of a making up for lost time type of deal. Um, all I know is it's sort of a parody of... I'll get into it later. I think I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go back to the expectations versus reality type of videos... Where I'm going to tell you what I think the movie's about. And then I'm going to watch it and let you know what it really was and what I really thought about it. You know, I did it already. But I think it'll be cool with these ones because these are all blind buys. So this one here, this was a big release um, for uh, Vinegar Syndrome. Because I guess this movie has been out of print. It, it never made it to DVD officially as far as I know. Unless it was in another uh, territory. Um, but... A lot of people were really looking forward to this one. And look at how fucking cool this case is, though, dude. Like, it's super badass. And it's uh, also a 4K release, which is weird, but also cool. I think they made this one a 4K release because they um, were trying to grab a more mainstream audience. This has that Uncle Jesse's wife, or the Aunt Becky or whatever, from Full Houses in this one. And it's like a... My boss also recommended this, too. So, it's just fucking beautiful, man. It's fucking beautiful. I can't wait to see this one and live up this 80s cheese here. And it'll probably be the most feel-good movie in this entire fucking order. Because most of these are 
violent, dark movies like this one here. Now, Blood Games, I've never seen, obviously, or even really heard about until this sale. And they packaged it like this. I was reading something about, um, well, there's the slipcover folded up. But I was reading something about uh, this case not having a, uh, the case that's on here, right here, it doesn't have this line about the 2K restoration at the bottom. So they reprinted it and sent it out with it. I don't know, I guess just to be accurate. But um, yeah, here this is a pretty fucked up movie. So I'm excited for this. Might be the first one I watch. Just looking at the case, it just looks like my type of time here. And, uh, and last but not least here, we have a bunch of more shit. Okay, these are all the ones I got without the slip. So I'm a big fan of Maniac Cop. And this movie is called Psycho Cop Returns. Now... I've never seen the first Psycho Cop, and I looked it up, and it's practically impossible to find at this point. So I just got this one as like, a, well, fuck it. This movie looks crazy, so let's just fucking go with it. And uh, nobody needs to be a completionist on movies you can't find. Second one here, The Candy Snatchers. Um, I know nothing about this one other than uh, it was a new release with the sale. I missed out on the slipcover because I ordered this. I ordered this, Psycho Cop Returns, and I think Blood Games secondary, like six hours after I ordered the, all the rest of the stuff. So I um, missed out on that slip. But I was like, I want to get this one and watch it because uh, it reminded me of um, like the Lindbergh baby type of thing or whatever. Patty Hearst, I think she was kidnapped, whatever. They also made a Patty Hearst movie. Didn't buy that. But I'm excited. Um, moving on here. Ice Cream Man. Okay, this fucking movie was another one of those ones like Unmasked 25 that was always on the shelves at the video store and I never bought it or rented it. And years later, I'm like, I fucking want to see this cool-ass Clint Howard as an Ice Cream Man killing people movie. So it seemed like the perfect time to get it on sale from Vinegar Syndrome. And also... One of the other things about this was there is a, um, I don't know if you can even fucking see because of the way I have this set up. This was a mistake. This, this setup was a total mistake from how I usually do things, but whatever. Uh, Joe Bob Briggs does a commentary on this one with, with Clint Howard. Wait a minute. No, I'm wrong. I'm totally fucking wrong. That was a different one. This one's the entire Monster Vision episode of Ice Cream Man with Joe Bob and uh, Clint Howard. So that's fucking, that's, that's real cool. That's a cool extra. So... That's worth getting this alone, because you you don't come across those Monster Vision uh, episodes anymore unless you fucking really dig deep into the bootleg scene, which even then, it's from experience, it's not easy to find that shit. Okay, next up, Pledge Night. This is some kind of sorority, or um, what do they call that frat killer movie? I don't know. I was in a mood, so I picked that up, and I picked up Splatter University, which seemed to fit a theme together. So I was like, well, fuck it. Let's do it. Let's blind buy these two university slasher flicks and see what the fuck happens. So that is my um, unboxing of my Vinegar Syndrome Halfway to Black Friday pickups. Uh, I hope you guys liked it, and I hope you're looking forward to seeing uh, reviews of all this stuff with detailed looks at what comes inside this package. And I'm assuming, because Vinegar Syndrome does this a lot, these will have reversible covers to check out. So that'll be really cool, and I'll show you guys um, what the reversible covers are. And we'll get into the, the special features and stuff. Yeah, man, there's a... Yeah, that's the thing. I've only bought two Vinegar Syndrome titles before, The Suckling and uh, Slaughterhouse. So... I'm just getting into the shit and all the special features they have and stuff. There's a lot to talk about. So these are going to be extensive episodes. I'm really excited about all of this. I'm so happy that uh, this finally came. So thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, listen to the podcast, whatever. And look forward to a bunch of fucking reviews of really awesome 
obscure movies. Stay freaky. I don't, I don't know about that.